Yo, hey, hey. Wahala Villa Bicycle Sandra actually set the social space on fire. Hey, baby. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get a gist? Acid heart. Hey, guys, talking about the gist acid heart. The last time we checked, I was expecting Sandra and Blue Eva to be bestie because they were friends in the house. And now it is given, with this drama going on with them post show, it is given the reason behind their friendship in the house is cozy. Yes, because I don't know why they were that close in the house and coming outside, they are no longer close. Oh, you guys should know the story already. I don't want to start going down how Sandra revealed that she has actually run some parole with Shemi. They, they are kind of close before she came to the house. Now, um, Yemi was with Kosi. Sandra started giving Kosi attitude. Now, it is giving Yemi and Blue Eva together. Now, Sandra and Blue Eva is having issue. What is really going on? It is giving Yemi is the prize, guys. Any which ways, guys, the drama choke. First off, let's start from here. Sandra posted this and said, I post my daily life on Snapchat. People who have known me before are aware of how goofy and relatable I like to post off. But for months now, a certain fan base always feels like any relatable post I make is about their median. Because they let me know when they come to my DMs to drag me. There is no time that I go on my Snapchat and without having at least one of them calling me names and stuff. And frankly, you all can say what you all want. I don't give a F. But bully me by tagging me to your dead stories and tweets. Blue me HQ or whatever the F you call yourself. You, your head pig and your fellow piglet should oink to, 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 <laughs> to tough and leave me alone. Since this is what you're looking for, yes, I've been on the internet I see what they call you all. P.S. You can call me window seat or whatever. I don't give a F. So yes, when you decide you want to come into my space and send me DMs, tag me and drag me. Also know that when one piglet come at me, I'm shading you, your medium pig, your piglet and your distant piglet. Leave me the F alone. Jeez. Guys, this one strong <laughs> Hey, imagine calling Blue Eva in this one, calling her a pig. What Nisayas call you, her? Huh? Okay, this person now says, you ask people to ask questions. Now they are asking you, acting as if you don't know what you are doing. From me to me, quest a girl. And she replied and says, you see why I use derogatory terms to converse with you piglets? Because I know that microwave you carry on your shoulders can do absolutely nothing than spin hot nonsense you silly okay i'm gonna skip all of that you aren't even good for meats ha wahalo insinuating i send myself replies is just insane that's your fave not me know the difference and my question is how did he get here with sandra and blue eva like yemi is the problem sandra does it mean you and Yemi see, are still friends with benefits? Or what is it? Because that's what it's giving right now. That is what it is really giving right now. Because, <laughs> Wahala be like bicycle indeed. Yemi will be feeling like the King Kong. Like calling Blue Ever Pig, saying all of this. I understand how it is, seeing that the fans will come for you or whatever. But yo. Coming to call Blue Eva Pig, saying all of that. You know, you all have been, you know, have been silenced all this time. Sometimes you got to 
pop out and show you guys. Because of this, I when I start because I don't follow her on Snapchat, I just immediately started following her because I remember she can be so controversial. Imagine calling them piglets and then she's saying, Oh, oh hey God, Sandra. Now the what the problem right here is blue how they call it blue me HQ, that is head of the sheepers. They said she is always tagging the person, whoever the person is always tagging Sandra. As the person says, This is what Sandra has been sending to people's inbox. It says it was genuine till her fans started bashing me and she liked and followed the page's law. Friendship have to be both sides. Just because I want us to be friends don't mean I am your fan. So the blue me shippers are sharing this, that this was what Sandra is sharing to people. That blue ever is busy farming people who are dragging her. That's why they can never be closed. You know, I asked that, which meaning that how did all of this start? Now, this is where it all started. Sandra, according to her, is telling people that Blue Eva is following those who are dragging her. And then the Blue Mish, um, shippers are still sharing. The, I'm going to skip that. Finally, remembered her password. When I get bullied, you, you piglet don't see that too. Get the F out of my space. This will be the last time you tag me to your... Okay, I'm going to skip that. I stay getting bullied by your piglets every single day. And the day I choose to reply, oh, Sandra is okay. You and her and all your fellows piglets can pink away. This is where you can have bores. You know, they are just sharing their WhatsApp conversation. This one also from Blue Me HQ. Blue and Blue and S finally unfollowed each other. Fed you. Since then, all S draws is shade her, claim to do question and answer on snap and the only question she reposed is those that ask about blue guys so now the thing is this blue main shippers have been you know tagging sandra saying things about her because sandra and blue ever finally unfollowed each other you guys remember where was it again i think it was during yemi's birthday i think sandra this <laughs> this blue ever saying something about we have your man something something that blue ever finally posted and said you guys can just have him i'm like ha at this time, Yemi Craze is still the problem with these peeps. It's quite petty if you ask me. And Sandra needs to come out correct and tell us what is going on with herself and Yemi. That no one get close and be free. Hmm. So, <laughs> and then this person, you won't constantly come from someone's faith, provoke them and expect them not to come for you. She called the whole fan base piglet and you expect me to leave her. You guys are just so weak. Hi. Not only one of them creates love and light for. Her. So okay, the Blue Eva fans are like um saying that they need to come for Sandra because why would she call them piglet? Why would she call their queen a pig? Of course you guys know that's what they say as call Blue Eva. They even post a picture of her nose and they'll be like see the nose, see this, see that one. So guess what? People from other families are reacting to this drama going on. As um Nick Way says, Wahala, Sandra, stop at head pig and fellow piglets should oink to wear. So they were reacting. And you guys know the rain, um, the Kosi rains. Some of the Kosi rains are reacting to this one. You guys know the drama with everything. How Kosi received drugs. How Sandra has also come for Kosi before indirectly. Sandra, as a Kosi rain, I love you so much. I do not know, but it's really not funny. So they are really happy that Sandra is coming from for Blue Ever. Why? You guys know the relationship between Blue Ever and Kosi, the fan base. The fan base are not, you know, in good terms. I don't even think they, they are ever going to be in good terms because you guys, you know. So they are actually happy that Sandra said whatever she said to Blue Eva. Sandra is operating the smooth operator. It was just really going on on the social space. People are making jests, you know, and everything about the situation and how Sandra came out with her full chest to call them pig, piglet, and the kind of words she used. You know, Sandra S though, she didn't lie. Very tossy. She's qualified for BBN. She would have gotten disqualified. <laughs> you know, so the fans were just papazing. The natives were just papazing with what Sandra brought to the table. You know what some people were waiting for is something to come up. So far, it has nothing to do with their faith. They would trend it. They would make jest of it. They would laugh over it, which is something that is not cool though. And then coming from Akila, and you find it funny because she is not, my fave but as my country fellow this is disgusting blue is not the one who is swearing at this 
backlash. Her fans who she has no control over, what they do with their data are the ones shading her. So for her to call her a head pig is cack. Exactly. Why isn't she directing her message to the fans? Exactly what I think too. Exactly what I think. I think um, Sandra wouldn't have, you know, called Blue Ever name. Saying all of those things she was saying to Blue Ever is quite uncalled for. There is no need for that. There is even no need calling Blue name. The fans are the one coming for you. If you know you can no longer ignore, ignore them, it's for you to give them a serious warning. But even if you even want to include their fave, calling her pig, the head of pig, that this, ah, no, it's quite demeaning. It is quite, quite down. Like, I know Sandra knows how to go low, but at the same time, it's not cool. I won't forgive multi-choice for not giving us their reunion. Those guys would have given us a clean show rather than that all-stars self. Wonder why their reunion didn't hold a. Sandra is always spoiling, okay, spoiling for a fight. Was a queen. Not Sandra sits doing social distance. <laughs> All we ever wanted to do is dance. Please leave my baby girl alone. Why are you guys blaming one person for this fallout? So what? They are not friends anymore. How did Sandra turn the... Okay. Do you know what happened? Are Yemi and Sandra not still cool till now? That page tagged her. I'm glad she dragged all of them. No matter what you do, you can never measure up to Blue in any way. You were jealous. She's loved, respected to your own people while they don't even notice you. Calling her a pig when you look like a dry monkey. So guys, it's just drama going on. Like this drama is actually draining. GHL says, I know you guys may hate this babe. But for whatever reason, but on this, she's right. That shippers fan page on, I fan page on IG have been tagging and shading her. This babe's fans tag and drag her daily here. You all would notice because she doesn't have fans that would defend and cause men on the TL. Now the thing is, obviously she did not just come out to react. I know. But what me I'm trying to say is, Blue Eva was not the one who came for her. You understand? So calling Blue Eva the pig and everything I think is not cool. The sky is blue says only blue ever their mama can make a housemate shalaye and see be defending herself with a bonnet account. Anyways, the wave is coming. Click the link and dance away your bitterness anti take take. <laughs> you guys should just enjoy your faves and let peace reign. All of this drama, yo. All right, coming from Liat B. Keep sipping your tea, baby. I'm sure the weather is cold over there, waiting to party with the wave. You know, the fans were trending Blue Ever in the midst of all of this drama and Sandra calling Blue Ever a pig. And then somebody says, I love how Blue Ever careless about irrelevant people, Sha. Nice said it's maturity. In all this, Blue Ever is minding the business that pays her. As she should, we're waiting for the mix, the side. So the fans are hyping her. They said, oh, thank God Blue Ever is not replying to Sandra. If Blue ever reply that, I'm going to skip that. I am blocking her everywhere. And then Sandra B said, relax, she won't. So the fans are like, they are really crossing fingers for Blue ever not to reply. Because that is not what the replies, you know. This person said, respond, care. Have you ever seen Blue address that full before? This is our focus, Biko. The only thing that matters today, baby, is the Blue ever mix. And then, coming from Nengi Maria Kositwala, Yemi celebrated his business yesterday only for his wife to start a fight the next day. That he had called the other girl a medium piglet. So what are they still fighting over? Yemi couldn't play Kosi, so he used them. So nobody should even blame Yemi on this one. Yemi, <laughs> Yemi does not have anything to do with this. It is the ladies who choose to not get over this thingy. All right, coming from King Kosi, to be clear, Blue was a play thing for Yemi. He knew who was the, the IT woman. That's why he called Kosi my queen before leaving. Bring all the housemates again. Yemi will still want a thing with Kosi. And Kosi will still play and win the Yoruba demon again. It is how you guys want to just impute Kosi in this situation that had to do with Blue Eva and um, Sandra. But any which ways, I still understand why Kosinim has to come here because the drama that happened in the house. But it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. I have to drop my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.